Maybe that's what I've been missing. You know, it could have been. All right, guys, first fish of the day. Little largemouth bass. What I'm using is a 1 8 ounce lime or lime truce jig head with a purple and pink silver flake Bobby Garland. I forgot the name of it. Eclipse. It's called Eclipse. Catch more when we go back 100 yards. Crappie like to be in about five foot of water and about four foot down when they're spawning. If it's only four foot deep, it's a little shallow. Or not. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Thought it was a crappie. I caught him right by the canoe just jigging it around. Yeah. All right, guys, second blood. Large mouth. Just right here. Why does that keep wrapping around my palm? Third fish, guys, another bass, about the same. On the eclipse. Crappie. Got them. There they are down there. We found them. I told you right at the wire. I told you. See, it probably drops down about another foot down there. That's where they're at. Unless I got a bass. No, it's a big crappie, guys. We just had to find them. They weren't in the three foot of water like they normally are. Boy, and they're just like last year, all 12s. My goodness. Oh. His lake has improved so much. Oh my God. Look at that. They're like a dinner plate. <laughs> oh man. All right guys, that eclipse is working with that lime jig head. Perfect for stained water. I'm telling you. Don't move much. Nice crop, you guys. Beautiful. Man. Why did I tell you the wire? Something told me, try the wire, try the wire. And where were they at? At the wire. I'm gonna let go. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, you put that bright thing on. Is that a grub or the twin tail? That looks like a cricket thing. Huh. Yeah, it might work. Yeah. Definitely see it. It's gotta be. If it's a crappie, it just hit my crankbait. It was! on this oh my god on the crankbait early in the year for them to be hitting crankbaits 
But they are big crappie though, so. God, I had him all the way that far in. What's the deal? Now I got one. Crappie too, right by the bank. Yep, it's a crappie. Pretty sure. Or not. It's a big bass though, pretty decent. All right, guys, I got a decent bass. He's at least two, maybe even two and a half. No, right at pound and a half, actually, maybe two. Decent, though. He was right on the bank. I'm loving this bandit crankbait, guys. I don't even remember the name of it, but it's purple on, purple on top and then orange and yellow. Don't move a lot for a minute. Don't move a lot. Still got the, I'm gonna have to get him off with pliers, I think. This thing I'm ordering more of them it might be my new favorite one it's just so many different colors now for clear water it won't be that great but dingy water definitely not a bad bass guys full of eggs careful all right nice yeah Whoa, Wilma just caught a big old bluegill on a crankbait. That's a big bluegill. Wow, he's edible size. Goodness. I just missed one right here, right by the canoe. This one? Oh, crappie. Nice crappie on the crankbait. My goodness. But we might have found a good spot then. Yeah. He's 13 inches. Oh, my goodness. I just missed one. That's a crappie now. That was a crappie. They're about eight feet in front of us on that line where the wind goes around the corners where they're setting. Good job, honey. And she got him on the Bandit 200 mistake. Hold it up with the crankbait once. It's kind of cool looking like that. Hold it where the crankbait faces me. Hold on. I gotta zoom. That's a nice one. A little longer. Up. There you go. Okay, down a little bit. Right there. Man, that's a nice crappie, guys. About 13 inches. That's two we've had on the crankbaits and only one on the jig. Yeah, see, they're big enough to hit a crankbait's the thing. God. I gotta pee really bad. I have to, I have to pee.
There we go, crappie. Yep, guarantee it. I can tell. Maybe not. It might not be. It's swimming like a bass now. No, it's a crappie. And it's a nice one. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah, they are. Every one is 12 and 13 inches. Look how, that's a female too. That's a big female. My goodness. Okay, don't move for a minute. All right, guys, that's a nice female crappie. I mean, real nice. Look at that slab. Every one of these is like a dinner plate in this lake. I got some good friends, that's all I can say. and 13s. They were just put in about four years ago. It was just restocked about four years ago anyway. Into a half yellow, half orange, one eighth ounce jig head. And I'm going to try green banana. See how well that works. I'm gonna keep changing colors every time I get hung or every hour or whatever until I find that magic color. A green banana so it's not going to be easy to find <coughs> where are they at my goodness they're light blue I ought to try that one sometime and then this one that's chartreuse clear pink and white mo glow power driver that's something you bought blue pearl charlie brewer pink bubble gum pink and white again blue eyes no blue chrome, orange dream pickle. I guess it's going to be the last one I find. Minnow. Good God, where is green banana? Green hornet. Green banana. I tell you what, leave this out, put this down by the cooler somewhere where I ain't got to dig it out of the tub every time I need it. Alright guys, we're going to see how well this works. Half orange, half yellow, one eighth ounce with green banana, Bobby Garland. So there's something to get snagged on over there. But that tells you that's why I caught him too. Look at my pole. This might be bigger, Wilma. I could be one of them grass carp. I hope not. Oh, this I don't know what this is. If it's a crappie, it's bigger than 12 inches. It's a crappie. <clears throat> oh yeah, why are you using the green banana? Oh my gosh. 
He's 15. Oh my God, I got a two pounder, guys. I got a two pound slab. Oh, oh my God. No, he's about 14. No, he's 15 inches. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, I think I know what color I might use. Green banana. Don't move for a minute. I'm going to get a picture of me here. All right, guys, this crappie's got every bit of 15 inches. I don't think it's 16, but he's definitely 15 inches. Whoa. They're in here. We didn't catch any of this big before, did we? The last year. That is a crappie and a half, guys. We're, I'm going to actually measure this. I'm going to say he's 15 exactly. 15 right on the dot. I've caught a lot of 15s. And I'm usually pretty good at guessing. My gosh, I told you it felt different. I started thinking I might have a big grass carp. That's how big this thing is. It's only 13 even, 13 inches. Yeah, it's just really tall. Guys, this crappie is only 13 inches, but it is really tall and thick. Really thick. God, it's almost big enough to mount. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. It's really thick. Okay, don't move again for a minute. Oh my gosh, guys. That is a slab. I can't believe it's only 13 inches. That really throws me off. It's because it's the black. Every time I've caught crappie that are 14 above, they're 90% of the time it's been white. I have caught some blacks this big, but I've caught 15 inch blacks that don't look, that look just like this. That is a giant. I thought that was, I thought that was a bass. I did. I thought it was a bass. All right, guys. I got my first crappie all the way in on a crankbait. Bandit 200. He's fighting different. Oh boy. My goodness, guys. I love catching these. Slabs on crankbaits. It just don't get better than this. We're doing pretty good for setting in one spot. Another 12 incher. It's a big difference between 12 and 13 apparently. This one looks small compared to the last one, but I know he's 12. We had a good year for crappie, especially at the Baker. I just had one. There he is. Oh, he got off again. Nope, he's back on. I don't know. I think it's a small bass. Not sure though. No, it's a crappie. I seem square shaped. Goodness gracious, guys. Now see, this won't happen a lot of, man, they're fighting like white bass. 
where they're freaking going down and my gosh he's a little smaller he's only about 10. that's a nice one though No, he's 11. He's just not 12. He's 11. I'm having more fun catching them this way. That way I have a chance at a big bass then. At the same time, I don't have to keep switching poles. Another Bandit 200 crankbait crappie, guys. Ever, the smallest ones in here are 10 inches, 11. But both the average is 12, and then once in a while you get a 13. We just got to get that 14 or 15. I'm really wanting a 17, but I might be asking too much there. You never know, though. It needs a few more years before. It would take a few more years for them to get 17 if they're going to get that big. And you got a big crappie, I think. It ain't acting like a bass at all it could be though I guess I think it's a crappie oh it's real dark too that's a male you got a nice male oh goodness he's got a sore on his head weird, weird sore maybe he's been caught could have been from us huh she got a nice male every other crappie we've been catching are females you know why because the males are closer to the bank. You got him real close to the bank. It could have been. They do splash sometimes when they're spawning. He's jet black. Hold on a minute. You don't have to turn your whole body, you can move your arms over is all you gotta do. Swing your arms over like that. Okay. Man, nice jet black male guys. Crappie, big, way out in the middle, just out in the middle of the lake. Oh no, it's a bass. Yeah. He didn't, he just didn't fight like a bass. He didn't come up to the top. Right out in the middle of the lake. Oh, he's gonna come off. All right, he's a pound. Man. Oh man. That guy's another half decent large mouth. He's a pound, full pound anyway. On the bandit, loving this crankbait. Got a got Got to order more of them. It's purple on top, kind of a reddish orange, silver lines with a chartreuse yellow bottom. It's really cool. It definitely works. Perfect for stained water. That's a nice bass, actually. Bigger than the ones we've been catching, except that one. He's the second biggest so far, though. Say. It's fighting more like a bass. No, it's a giant bluegill. Oh, I want a picture of you with this. That's her second nice bluegill today, guys. There's some nice bluegill in here, isn't there? They put red ears in here too. We haven't caught one yet. They stocked it with red ears uh, the year before last. Man, that's nice. Hold on. 
That's a nice bluegill, guys. Hold it up. Like, oh man. Just hold it in your hands, regular, I guess. That's a nice bluegill. Definitely a keeper size bluegill. Man, we're getting a good, good day. I think we just found a spot, guys. They're out. I gotta change my battery and didn't turn it on. Woman's got a pretty decent bass back in this cove on the Bandit Mistake crankbait. I just changed my battery and forgot to turn it on, so I missed the fight. Went underneath the canoe. We thought she had one of them grass carp for a second. Dang. There he is. Yep, he was right against the bank. I don't think it's very big, pound and a half, maybe, pound. It's a freaking, oh, I thought it was a crappie for a second. I was about to freak out. I have caught him on spinner baits though. Once in a while you do. Right in the top of the mouth. I hooks him in the mouth. Don't move for a minute. fun to hook. It's got a big old belly on her though. Big old belly. Wow. All right. little bass I think that's not real bad actually oh it's a crappie oh my in three foot of water they're shallower now a little bit he inhaled that thing too I have to get it out with my thumb or my index finger I mean goodness gracious Once again, guys, on the green banana. Nice crappie. They're not last year they are all bunched up in like a big group of 50 look at him see him swimming away <laughs> it might be a crappie it's hard to tell bass no why they keep, they ain't fighting normal these crappie ain't they're fighting kind of weird. It's that one. I think you caught this one already. It's got the sore on its head. No way. 
You think it's this? Wilma caught this same fish earlier. It's exact same spot. What the heck, man? It's possible, I guess. I ain't gonna rule it out. I'm trying to see where. Yep. Look. No, look right here. That's where your hook. Wilma already caught this fish about three hours ago, guys. It has the same sore on the top of its head, and I see her hook mark where it went through. Now, that's just crazy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The same fish three hours apart. What are the odds of that? Not very good. Okay, don't move for a minute. Be care very careful. Nice crappie though anyway. Been caught once today, but I'll take him again. On the orange dream sickle. They have really slowed down guys. That's funny. He bit again. The same stinking fish. Not that good of a day. It wouldn't matter where he went. There we go. Now this is a crappie, 100%. Oh, and it's a nice one. Yeah, this is definitely not a bass. Whoa, man. Crappie. Yep. All females. You're the only one that's gotten a male. Males ain't biting, only females. Yeah, he's a decent one. Whew. Man. Try not to move for a second. I want that thing going in the water. On the green sickle delight, guys. About 12 inches. Nice black female. Not bad. gosh that's a giant you shouldn't have picked it up like that oh man is it that one with the sore it's a different sore different fish but same sore I don't know what's going on that's two of them that's had that yeah maybe a bird got it that's a nice crappie though another female Guys, we've only caught one one male fish today out of like 16, 17 crappie. All females. Males are not biting. Strange. There we go. Crappie right by the bank. Now the crappie are right by the bank. <laughs> An hour ago, they, oh, that's a bass. No, it's not, it's a big crappie. <laughs> I got him right by the bank. I haven't gotten none of them by the bank yet. They just moved, I guess. Man. Me and her caught the exact same one two hours apart because it had a giant sore on its head. And I seen the hook, the hole in its mouth from her hook. I said, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't, you think they would wise up? <laughs> oh man, yeah, he's 12 or 13. Damn.
right guys another one another 12 inch female on the uh, dream sickle delight pretty cool now that one was right by the bank real close oh, I gotta pee really bad again now that crappie was only in three foot of water and three foot down I've been catching them five and six foot down all day to high school together oh yeah man another female oh this one is another 13 I think dang close to, yeah oh yeah he is 13 oh hey come on buddy <laughs> He does not want to come in. <laughs> I got a dip net too, and I'm stubborn and always leave it sitting in the car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I'm always like, ah, I won't need it. Yeah. If I wouldn't have had it the other day, I I would have lost one of them. Yeah. I caught a 17 pound grass carp oh, or at Saline Creek. We have property on the Saline Creek. Oh, you know Charlie Hurst? This thing too, I just don't need it in here. Yeah. Just a little Minn Kota trolling motor, but it does a miracle on it. You got a crappie? There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's a crappie. Man. Everyone's decent in here. We haven't caught any under 10 inches. Really? It's strange. Chunky. <laughs> Sweetie. Well, I know over the past years, you know, we would catch, whenever I was with them or whatever, we would catch some small ones and all that. We start to keep them all of them. Yeah, it probably helps, actually. Yeah. That way they don't overpopulate. That's a good one. I'm just pulling over here by this tree. She told me not to, but I gotta go really bad. I gotta go somewhere. Some. My goodness. Right, let me film you here. <clears throat> Hold it up for me. Get it? My goodness. Never mind. You get dark. Dark before you get the hook out. About 11. Hold on, I'm too zoomed in. There you go, like that. Good job, another 11. Holy cow, I finally got one. I finally got a bluegill. Wilma caught three of these today, guys. I finally got one. 
There's some nice bluegill in here. They're all big. All right, buddy. Everyone we've caught has been eight inches, guys.